All right, welcome to part two of the bubble sort lecture. So this is a brief discussion on the time complex area of bubble sort. So here's the code in front of us. So this array um, was of eight elements. So we need to find out that how many in how many steps did we solve this sorting problem. So let's uh, start from the inside out. So, so the inner innermost block, the red block. So, which is only sing a sequence selection uh, statement. So, um, this red block, how we see, need to see how many times the innermost block has actually executed. So, how many times the red block is actually executing. So, this is executing roughly seven times. So, and then seven into eight. So, outer block multiply by n block. We have just discussed this uh, in the last class that uh, how can we calculate the time complexity if there are nested loops. So in this case 8 into 7 56 times. So talking about in terms of n let's say we have an array of n elements. So n was 8 in this case so the outer loop will run n times inner loop will run n minus 1 times so that makes it roughly n square minus n and if we talk about big O notation, uh, let me just write it down. So n, uh, or let me just open a new notepad. Uh, all right. So let me also copy the code oh forget it uh, what's this segment all right all right so the outer loop is running eight times and the inner loop is running seven times so that was 56 this was the case when the array size was eight all right so we need to see when the array size is n, what what should be the value? It should be n into n minus 1. So that makes it n n square minus n. So this is the time complexity. And this is the exact time complexity. When we apply the big O notation, uh, that is big O of n square minus n. So we discussed this that we ignore the constraint. So we don't have any constraints over here. But the second thing that we do is that we only take the higher power so this n is the lower power this n power 1 so this will just be, be dominated this will be suppressed and so we'll just be left with O of n square so when we apply big O it will just become n square so the time complexity of bubble sort is in worst case it's n square all right but uh, we just directly discussed the worst case. We haven't thought of the worst case scenario. So let's write down the worst case scenario and the best case scenario. Worst case scenario. Let's take a very simple example. Let's take eight numbers. So what should be the worst case if we need to sort the numbers in ascending order? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just take very simple eight numbers. If we need to sort these numbers. Uh, in ascending order this is in fact the best case that these numbers are already sorted so this will be the best case scenario that all numbers are already sorted and the worst case scenario would be that all the numbers are in reverse order all the numbers are in the reverse order which is 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so this is the worst case scenario so let's find out the time complexity in the best case scenario and the worst case scenarios for bubble sort. So let's look at the code first. So when you look at the code, so do you do you do we see any breaks over here? And since both are the for loop or for loops, so the for loop does not stop based on any. There is no break statement, so the for loops will still continue. So whether it's the best case, whether it's the first case for loop will still continue so that's why uh, it will be n square uh, in both cases whether it's the best case scenario so in the best case scenario the time complexity would be 
uh, Omega uh, how do we insert the special system special uh, character Omega anyways the best case uh, time complexity will also be this uh, n square and the worst case would also be n square all right and since both are the same so let me yeah, yeah here so in the, this is in the best in the worst case it's n and uh, uh, wait this yeah yeah it's good yeah so in the worst case it's n square in the best case also it's n square when both are same we just tried it theta n square anyways forget it yeah there you go all right so see you guys goodbye